Hello again, everyone. Stavros here, playing a Legacy League with my favorite deck, Black Green Pox. Uh, we have a new deck today. Well, just some updates on the on the other one. I kind of covered it in the other video, so I won't go into detail in it. But leaning more heavily on the on the combo, having some anti graveyard stuff in the sideboard and some more sweepers, and uh, just streamlining the deck a bit. Um, yeah. So let's get straight into it. Let's see if I can uh, play a league match and maybe win some games, perhaps even some matches. Let's see how it goes. All right, still queuing up. Uh, yeah, there's nothing really different, that different with the deck. I guess it's, it's basically the same deck, but uh, I think it's becoming more of a depth deck rather than a pox deck per se, uh, which is always kind of the the issue with, that I've had with this deck. Do you lean more into being a lands deck, a bad lands deck, or a bad depth deck? Uh, I've chosen to be a bad depth deck this time around. <laughs> uh, so let's see how it goes. Let's go into this one. Um, okay. Had to reinstall. And I think I will be playing uh, first during all these games. I think that'll make sense. Hmm. Do we keep this? Do we keep this? I don't have the mana. I do have a living wish. And I have a crucible. Mm, I think I have to keep it. Well, let's see. I'm, I, I think I'm going to be more bold <laughs> in uh, in these uh, leagues going forward, keeping more ridiculous things. Um, yeah, I do have a lot of things to draw that could give me. Um, hmm, yeah, could get me there. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to play that and just pass. Hopefully that's big enough, the cards there, so everyone can read them. Let's see. Okay, Delver. That should be, this should be a good matchup, or at least it was with the previous deck. Let's see now. Um, okay. I, I have to cast this. Uh, I have to get rid of that. I have to play my Thespian stage, and then I have a choice of what to do. Uh, well, yeah, I think I'm just going to crack here and him them and kind of play it a bit slow. I mean, I can always do the Living Wish towards the end and get my things done. But yeah, I think this makes sense for now. Um, and then uh, I'm going to go Smallpox and Crucible or Crucible and... Do a bunch of things like that. Oh, blue red Delver because of Sprite Dragon. I think they're probably just blue red. Um, hmm. This isn't a great matchup. Maybe Living Wish would have been. Well, I can cast Living Wish next turn, obviously. Go for my Dark Depths, and maybe they don't have a Brazen Bar and I just win. Uh, oh, they have a Daze. Okay. And they have a Wasteland. Well, <laughs> and another devil. Okay, we, we can be in trouble here uh, because of the days and because they're going to waste us. Uh, we could be in quite a bit of trouble. Um, will we be able to play anything for the rest of the <laughs> match is the question. Let's see. Hmm. Well, we know that they have a. Uh, yeah, we know that they they already have. They have a days and a wasteland, which is kind of the worst combination that they could have here. 
Um, if we do cast smallpox, I'm guessing that they're going to get rid of their wasteland, uh, maybe, or maybe not. Uh, let's see what we have in the sideboard. Uh, Hex Mage, hmm. probably not that good in this situation. Yeah, so we're kind of in the position where we have to cast smallpox to get rid of a Delver, and then we have to hope to draw lands, right? That's what I feel like right now. Hope to draw a land, right? It's not that like, uh, yeah. And they're probably getting rid of their wasteland. We're getting rid of our Thespian stage and hoping to lean on Crucible, most likely. Okay, what are we discarding? Mm, another smallpox? Or the Living Wish. I think the combo is probably a bit far away because we're going to lose the Thespian. We're going to probably lose the Living Wish, which is pretty slow anyways. Okay. Let's see how that goes. Uh, and they're going to get rid of Wasteland, of course. We're going to get rid of Thespian Stage. Okay. That is an interesting approach from them. <laughs> because now if we draw a land and you know their days is offline. Well their days is offline anyways. Um because they don't have a land, right? Okay, they had another land in hand probably, or else that wouldn't make any sense. Um but do they have another threat? Because suddenly a land for us represents well, it represents us another smallpox and well, we're getting rid of our Crucible, which isn't great, but they just have to protect the Queen now. Um, and I think we can run this into days in order to get Liliana the Veil um, through next time. I think that's that's our goal. If they have double days, yeah, okay, we've run into <laughs> we've run into that. That's okay, <laughs> but yeah. Ah, they're just casting it, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather get Liliana, uh, Liliana through. Um, by drawing a land. Or Crucible through, and then, and then being able to kind of even go for the combo at some point. Um, okay, double Wasteland. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. Um, now what is the last card in their hand? I don't think we know it. But a land here, if we can get through our Liliana, is probably good enough for us. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to go for Crucible. I'm going to get down the Liliana. Um, and hope it resolves. Uh, yeah. Okay. And go for that. And, uh, then we'll go for Crucible and then start rebuilding our combo. We, we can even copy, you know, copy one of their wastelands and kill their volcanic and <laughs> go that way. Even if they wasteland or are wasteland, that's fine. Um, okay. Are we in a good position? Mm. Yeah, kind of. Okay, they hit us with that. That doesn't matter fully, but yeah, it would be good to get Crucible down next. Uh, let's see. Okay. Hmm. Well, we're going to try to get this through. If we get it through and we can start recurring wastelands, yeah, we've we've got them. Uh, I guess they can. Do they have some kind of counter here? Because. Okay, lightning bolt that. That that's that's even fine. I mean, I I don't feel that bad about that. They've used. We killed their delver. They used a lightning bolt. It's a two for one. Um. Oh, that I feel a bit worse about. But we're not top decking hmm, against a brainstorm deck or a brainstorm ponder deck. But we do have the wasteland. Okay. All right. That was an interesting move. 
Uh, what would be great here would be a, a loam. Yeah, loam would be nice. This is also an option. Um, hopefully no other days. <laughs> okay, so this is something. Uh, but they do have a lot of two drops. Let's not forget that. I think they're the deck that probably runs Pyro and Sprite and um, a few other things. Now they do have lands also. Mm, okay, we're holding this in hand. And uh, we're hoping they don't draw something that creates tokens, basically. Oh, they're, they're... Okay, I thought they were delving, but that doesn't make sense. <laughs> because they don't have the right mana. Even if they are delving, the smallpox should do something. Um, okay, Sprite Dragon. We have the solution to Sprite Dragon, but we lose a land. Um, so that might become an issue. Uh, let's see, maybe we draw a land. Uh, Okay. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, we're just gonna go with this. Uh, it makes sense. They'll lose the card in their hand. They'll lose their creature. They'll lose one of their lands. Uh, get rid of this one. Okay, and now we have the Chalice Lock, and hopefully we draw more lands at Trinisphere, maybe, or something like that. Or Wasteland. Uh, Life from the Loam is okay. <laughs> um, okay, let's just, let's just pass here <laughs> and do it next turn. <laughs> hopefully they don't draw land in something, right? Let's target them. Okay, this has turned into a game. Um, oh, it was all one drop, so it's not really that consequential. But... Um, okay. Okay, we have a solution to one thing, and uh, we have Chalice Down. So, hmm. I would like a Trinisphere or some Wasteland or Wasteland Lock or something, or a, a Planeswalker, really. Planeswalker would be cool. Um, hmm. Yeah, they're now locked again uh, under Chalice again. Mm. Oh, they drew their basic. <laughs> okay. Okay, this is a card. <laughs> this is a card right here. This will allow us, and with the, the fetch land that we have, this will allow us to kind of get things done. I am afraid of a brazen bar. Um, okay. That was good. All right. Uh, so we're playing against uh, one of our good matchups. Um, and we didn't really want to improve this greatly because we already had, you know, we, we have a good matchup against this. They know we're playing depths now. They'll bring in brazen bar or maybe submerge, maybe like a bunch of things. We can play around Submerge. Again, uh, Brazen Borrow, yeah, we can deplete their cards like we just did. Um, now, the question is Golgari Charm and Toxic Dealers. Do we bring those in? What would I name with Lost Legacy? It's a fun card. It's a fun card. What would I name, though? I, I don't think there is anything. And I don't think Golgari Charm, Toxic Dealers. Hmm. Yeah, this is a, a sweeper. I mean, it is a sweeper. What, what would come out then? Um, there, there's just nothing to re remove right here. I guess you can say Vraska is slow, but if Vraska comes down, it can gain life, which against a, a deck that plays 
like probably six bolt effects, maybe even more. That is good. Um, hmm. You know, I'm, I think I'm just going to run it back this way. Um, uh, do they have young pyros is, is a question. Uh, this can actually kill an unflipped Delver also. So maybe the Golgari charms are good. Enchantment, I doubt they run anything. Um, Trinitry is probably good, but it's a bit slow. Um, hmm. No, I'm just running it. I'm just running it as is. Uh, I have enough. I have enough things to kill. No, I, yeah. It's just hard to say. Do they? Do, are the sweepers relevant or are they not? They're probably not relevant against Sprite Dragon. Um, hmm. Yeah, I might go something like this, just because these are slightly faster than those. But yeah, let's see. Let's run this and see how it goes. Uh, they'll play first, which we're kind of used to at this point against these Delver decks. So I'm not feeling that bad about that. Uh, uh, yeah, this is a absolutely excellent hand. Wasteland, smallpox, two smallpoxes. I would I would love if one of those was a him, just to hit them like on the first turn. And I'm definitely keeping this. Um, I have acceleration, and then I can get ahead. Um, Delver. Delver for them. Okay. Um, hmm. I don't run... I don't mind running the first smallpox into a... Uh, just just straight up into a uh, daze. I don't mind that at all, actually, because I have the second one. And even, even better, I have a wasteland followed by a smallpox. I have abrupt decay if things get... Yeah, I don't mind running this into a daze. So... I think I'm casting that... I can run that into a daze also. That's fine. Um, because they're back a turn then, and then I'm I'm ahead. Force of negation. Okay, that's even better, I would say. <laughs> um, so what's the play here? Uh, I think I'm playing that, and I'm just passing. They can't protect the Delver forever for me, because Abrupt Decay is definitely the... Like, it's 100% it's solution. To that against blue red at least i don't think they have anything to stop them um no flip and now we've two for one them uh if they don't play another land then it's probably going to be a okay they didn't attack that's interesting and they're passing okay so do we wasteland here um, I mean, we can, what we could do is we could smallpox around, um, around days, playing around days with dropping wasteland. So then we're really ahead. Yeah, then we're really ahead. That's interesting. Let's see what they do. Hmm. Maybe I should have uh, done this one, because now now if they stifle, then I can't actually play my things. Uh, okay, they're not stifling. So I'm just going to do this. Um, and see what, how they react. I'm definitely getting rid of Wasteland and the Smallpox, and then I'm dropping Silver next turn, and hoping to win off of that. Another Force of Negation, another two for one. Um, we'll take this any day of the week. Um, and then we just passed it. Then we're not in any hurry to do anything right now. We're not wastelanding because we're just going to smallpox them next turn. Even if they flip and hit us. I mean, three damage. We're at 19, so we're looking good. It's a preordain. That's also okay. Um, which they cast. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Uh, they might find another land, but that's that's also okay because um, yeah, we can we can smallpox next turn. Let's see, do they bottom bottom? One one top one bottom. Okay, they found their next land, um, so they might want to cast something 
with two mana. Um, but if they have something with two mana, that means that our smallpox is definitely resolving because we can play around days and they're definitely losing it from their hand. <laughs> so that's absolutely fine also. Um, I really think we're way ahead here. Um, yeah, I really think we're way ahead. I, I can't see, they've two for one themselves with those force of negations like twice. So I can't really see them doing anything here. Um, okay, we're getting rid of this. I don't think it's good uh, when they only have one threat and when we're getting rid of that one threat right now. Um, the question is how greedy do we want to be? Do we want to get rid of the wasteland? Do we want to get rid of the swamp and then wasteland them? And then hope we draw some lands. Um, I mean, I, I am I am a greedy person here. I am a very greedy person, but I think um, I'm going to get rid of the wasteland probably. Yeah, getting down the Sylvan it just means that I win. Um, of course, they could be holding a daze and that gets countered, but still, it allows me to... I think this is the safe play, yeah. <laughs> Before I talk myself out of it and I become very greedy, um, I'm just going to do that, yeah, and pass to them. Um, yeah, Brazen Borrow would be absolutely terrible for us. Um, oh, here we go. Uh, because it'll hit the Mox Diamond. Probably. But they drew a Wasteland, okay. No, we drew a land, okay. Well, we're, we're going to go for this. Um, Okay, well, we've got our Sylvan Library down. We're at 15 life. We're at good life. We have Abrupt Decay for any threat that they play. They have a Wasteland, but we don't care about that. Oh, Brainstorm. They can find some cards now. Um, I think we're ahead, though. We're, we're Yeah, I think we're ahead. Hmm. Also, if they can't actually shuffle after the Brainstorm, it doesn't really do much. Oh, no, they've got they've got one. Okay. That's interesting. I mean um, well, all right. Uh We're just going to hit them now. Even if they daze us here, that's okay. <laughs> uh, so they lost a preordain. And then they lost that. Going down to seven life is not the best thing against that deck. I have to say, maybe I've been a bit overzealous there. Uh, maybe I could have done something a bit smarter. Let's put it that way. Um, but I'm feeling pretty good right now. Um, okay, I don't think we can, yeah. Yeah, I, I don't think we can, we'll go for this. We'll then pass, get our living wish, uh, play, play Orborg next turn and play a Vampire Hex Mage and, and go from there. Okay, let's see what they're going for. Whatever it is, we'll abrupt decay it. Um, well, unless it's... Hmm. We can make a 20 next turn, I think. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So we can make a 2020 next turn, and yeah, we don't have, well, they have to draw exactly whatever it is that they need, right? <laughs> I, I think it's safe for us. We use the ability. Um, I'm not gonna go for that, yeah. Put on top, put on top, play that, cast that. 
Uh, yeah. Vampire Hex Mage. Uh, play it. And uh, I'm more worried about a wasteland, I think. So I'm just going to... Yeah, if they draw a Brazen Borrower, so be it. <laughs> I don't know. We, we'll play Liliana next turn, and we'll go from there if they draw Brazen Borrower. Yeah, but I don't know. It seems unlikely to me, but, you know, they could draw exactly that. Uh, yeah, but now, now, on the other hand, they've played that, and they can't get two cards. So, yeah, they've lost this one, I feel. I can't think of a card. Submerge doesn't work. We don't have a forest. And they've lost. Okay. Cool. Well, that went exactly as we thought it would go. It, it, it kind of helps to have more of the combo, I think, because we can go more aggressively for it. And I think they... Yeah, they, they two-for-one themselves quite a bit, like getting that Mox Diamond. I mean, it's an interesting move, because sometimes my entire mana base relies on that one extra black source. And Mox Diamond really fixes my, my mana. Uh, but I do have a lot of lands. I think I drew relatively well also. Uh, but yeah, we did what we were supposed to do. We beat Delver as we're supposed to do. And we're going on to the next one. Okay. Very little queuing, I like it, and waiting for the opponent to join. Um, I will be trying to go on the play again, <laughs> which is very... Uh, well, the thing is, I will be going on the draw if the deck is a slower deck, and it's like game game three, game three, two or game three, and I know what I'm playing against. Um, okay, what's going on here? Okay, here we go. Um... Okay. Whew. Well, I like this because we have basically the combo. Like, if we draw one more land, we're looking at racing anyone, and we have the Chalice. So, I think we're going for this one. Um, yeah, Vraska and Liliana aren't the best. Uh, and Underground Sea into Duress is not the best either. <laughs> so, um, what is this? This is probably something stormy, I feel. And stormy is going to take the chalice. Um, and we have to go for Liliana as soon as possible. If they are stormed, they'll, they'll take the chalice, yeah. Or not. Hmm. Let's see what they are, yeah. But I think duress is... it. To me, it shouts Storm, Doomsday. Yeah, it does shout a bunch of things. Um, they took the Mox. Okay. Do you think they can win, I guess, faster than that? Um, hmm. So what what is the play here, really? Um, I'm thinking Chalice on zero might be good. Um, because after Duress, what are we looking at? Like, I think they were probably running Lotus Petals and Leads. I want to delay them a bit, because with what I have here, I feel like I can get to... I can get to the combo eventually, definitely, because I can do turn two uh, Living Wish. Even for, yeah, Living Wish and then just get a land if I need. I can get a Bajuka Bog just to delay them a bit or something like that. Hmm. Okay, so I think I'm playing that and I'm casting that for zero. Uh, it might not be the right thing, but, you know, I don't have that much info. I'm just going to pass. I don't have a Mox Diamond. I hope I don't draw a Mox Diamond now. <laughs> okay. Okay, we drew that. So I think we're, what we're doing is... Uh, we're going to get a Bayou, because I don't think they run anything like weird like that. We're going to play that. 
and we're playing a living wish. Not that way though. We're playing it with green mana. Okay. <laughs> I just noticed his name is Suck My Wally. <laughs> That's pretty good. So we're getting a Bajuka Bog so we can get the black mana that we need. Uh, and we're just passing. Hmm. They have five cards. Um, I don't know. Are they? They must be combo something, right? Two underground seas. Well. That is quite something. Another scalping turn. So if I see three black mana, <laughs> this is going to get bad. And I don't think they're casting pox. <laughs> I think they're casting um, doomsday. Okay, so doomsday. Hmm, okay. Well, they can only create the pile with the... Uh, street Wraiths and the whatever the other thing is that sacks the land and cycles. So the cycler pile. Now we have to think about what can we do to actually disrupt this. Probably not much. Probably not much. But we can we can have a look at their entire deck for a bit. And because this is a combo matchup, we can take as much as we want pretty much because the the time isn't going to factor into this. So I don't think they can win right now, but I'm expecting the pile to be something like, they're gonna leave Cycler, Cycler, something else, Thassa on top. And then next turn they go Cycle, 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 Thassa, right? Okay, this is a, a list of things. Uh, okay, so Lion's Eye Diamond is here, Lotus Petal is here. Uh, I don't see any Street Wraiths, I don't see that green card that cycles. So I think they have a bunch of cyclers at the top, but the question is what could I possibly do against this? Um, uh, hmm. Not much, I'm guessing, because they're going to... Well, hmm. do they have four cyclers is the question, because now they're going to draw a card. No, they draw one card. Maybe they have a cycler in hand, or they just have a brain, you know, brainstorm. Well, any cantrip, and then they go into that. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I have any solution at all here. Uh, I'm just going to... Play my Lilian of the Veil. Vale. <laughs> but just because I don't think I have anything that affects anything. I'm going to get rid of one of their cards, look at another card from their hand. That doesn't do anything. But um, yeah, I think we've lost this one. Um, let's see. We get to see one more card, right? Uh, I'll get rid of the Bajuka Bog. I think it's useless at this point. Um, yeah, I was wondering. They're going to go, they're definitely going to go down to zero cards, and I can't abrupt decay because they've already seen the abrupt decay. So they, they know about that. So, okay, they got rid of another doomsday. Um, oh, yeah, they must, yeah, they, they had one, they have run four, yeah, that makes sense. So I'm expecting cantrip, cycler, 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 thasis oracle, or, or something like that. Okay, cycler. Cycler. Now the other cycler. Okay, that cycler. Uh, so cycle, sacrifice land. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They win this one. Um, 
That make, makes sense. Um, would they have gone for it if they knew that I had mana up, though, is the question. I, I think I think they knew. They knew about the abrupt decay. They would have, yeah. They they would they would have played around it. Okay, we can sideboarding. So Thassa's Oracle. I don't think we have anything specifically against that. This lost legacy might be interesting to play. Uh, we might be able to get him. Uh, Sorcerer Spyglass doesn't do anything. Golgari Charm doesn't do anything. Uh, Leyline of the Void doesn't do anything. So really, we're not in the greatest position here. We're trying to get our chalices down. Uh, we're trying to get our disruption down. Him to Torax, smallpoxes, just hit their lands. Um, yeah, yeah, I think that, it's not that bad a matchup, I think. Not that bad a matchup, but what do we bring out? Like, Vraska is terrible. Liliana, the Last Hope is terrible. And recurring lands. Uh, Stops them from getting three mana. So if we can do that, that's not bad. Um, getting a clock might be good. Vampire Hex makes it go a bit faster. Um, hmm. Um, hmm. Do they have any enchantments? Probably not. And the minus one, minus one doesn't mean anything. Okay. I'm just going to go for this. Um... Well, that seems that seems even worse. Maybe spyglass just to hit some lands, right? So maybe I can put in two spyglasses. And what else do I take out? Um, hmm. No, I'll put in one, and that's it. Yeah, I think the deck. Yeah, this is the best we can do. Uh, yes, I will be on the play. Um. Hmm. Way too many lands. If we had acceleration, we can get that chalice down and then just go for the combo that I would go with. But they play a lot of discard. Um, I feel like I can get something better than this. Yeah, this has the combo. This has an extremely fast version of the combo also, because I have Mox Diamond. I can get rid of one of the Orborgs. Um, so I'm just going for the combo as quickly as possible. And I'm putting this one on the bottom. Yeah, I'm putting that on the bottom. Done. OK. Let's think about this. I think, um, yeah, we should definitely be accelerating into something. Um, I think I'm just going to go straight up for the combo, go for Vampire Hex Mage, get him off of Living Wish. They'll probably try to discard it, but I still have the combo in there, and I can just race them. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, that feels decent. Um, um, yeah, I think I'll cast this now. Um, I mean, if they don't have a way to discard, like if they have only duress, then they can't discard the vampire hex mage. And then they will just... Um, not do very well hmm. maybe but but they could have like dark ritual into doomsday right I, I think they can do that unless i'm mistaken hmm. Let, let's see i'm i'm yeah, i'm going for the combo basically is is the the short version of this and hoping they don't run any bounce or anything like that Okay, we, we've completely screwed ourselves. Um, and they can just win next turn. <laughs> yeah, that, this was uh, this was something that could happen, I guess. Um, them doing it off of Orberg hit uh, hurts doubly, I feel. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, okay. Okay, let's we can we can figure out their pile, I believe, right? We can figure out their pile. Oh. Maybe we've lost even even now, right? Um, but Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we've probably lost right away. But how do they get the other double mana with? Uh, oh, they they already have it in their hand, right? Uh, the, uh, with lead, lead in response. They need one more mana, which is another l lotus funnel. Oh, okay, no, they do it that way. Well, they beat us beat us fair and square. I have to say, I can't uh, look at the top three cards. If only this was a brainstorm and they kind of lost on their own. Uh, well, we've learned a valuable lesson here, I feel. Um, yeah, <laughs> what, I, I'm not sure what the lesson was. <laughs> Maybe another time I'll, I'll actually learn it. Um, hmm. Don't lead off of Orborg for them because, well, I mean, any land would have worked there, really. If they had any other fetch land, that would have worked. But maybe they kept a hand with no black mana, and they would have had to cantrip. Even if that was the case, then I would have just played my... The turn after, I couldn't play my uh, Vampire Hex Mage off of playing a turn one Thespian stage. So I would have been in a similar situation. Well, it would have taken me two, three turns to win, which clearly wouldn't have been fast enough from that Th that start that they had um, because they had everything else in hand right they were looking probably to ponder or preordain or something in the first turn in order to um, in order to find the black source right yeah yeah um, yeah I mean we don't have that many sideboard slots against that and it's a fast combo deck uh, I don't know maybe maybe we could have won there but who knows hmm. Uh, I'm keeping this, definitely, without thinking about it too much. They play Scalding Tarn. They get... Let's see what, what we're playing against. Uh, okay. We're playing against Elmer. All right. So, what do we prioritize here? Do we prioritize him or... Do we go for a classic old um, chalice? Good old chalice. Always has, has always helped us. Great, great card. I've always said that. Um, uh, you're. Yeah, I, I don't know what, what should go first, but I know that we can race them to the combo fairly well. Um, only being afraid of Brazen Borrow pretty much. I, I, that's what I feel, at least. Um, so I think we're in a good position anyways. Uh, let's see. Uh, Wasteland would be... Yeah, an issue or brazen bar, but wasteland we know we can see it and we can play around it, which is always a good thing about it. Uh, I guess they're deciding whether to use the force or something. If they had a daze, they'd probably do it immediately. Nope, they got rid of a force in the land. Okay. Okay. Okay, I, th I, I feel like they would have 100% forced Chalice, um, whereas now, uh, yeah, they're going to flip and reveal Ponder, okay? And they have another land, and just play the Ponder, okay. So I feel Thespian State followed by Chalice is going to be a good start, because I think they're Blue-Red Delver, but obviously don't know at this point.
So yeah, we, we, we're, we'll be in a bit of trouble if they have Brazen Bar, right? But at least this is cutting them off. So if they play anything kind of reasonable, not Brazen Bar, um, we're just going to go for our combo. And if they don't have Wasteland, especially. Hmm. Do we go for Lily of the Veil? Vale? Um, and try to whittle them down. And play around days. But not around Wasteland. Well, the way we play around Wasteland is by copying Wasteland with Thespian Sage. So I think the safest thing to do is probably this, <laughs> weirdly. Um, yeah. Okay. So now we're getting into the, the driver's seat of what the deck wants to do. Um, yeah, they can't bolt it. We can start, we can just play the combo next turn and tick up and uh, do our, our thing. Okay, they've done that. Why did they do that? Okay. Um, hmm. Yeah, they probably just don't have anything, right? Okay. Well, combo time. Um, each player discards a card. We're going to get rid of our life from the loam. And then we can dredge and replay our whole combo. And we're going to just do this um, right now to play around Wasteland because we don't like Wastelands. Uh, we're going to keep... Oh, well, okay. We're not going to keep anything. Okay. Uh, yeah, again, we find ourselves here thinking about what could they possibly have that will beat us. Uh, should we be going for a um, a few sweepers, depending on what they have? Maybe, maybe. And we put in Toxic Deluge last time, right? I think we'll just do this, yeah. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a good matchup. It's maybe Blue-Red Delver. We didn't see anything else, so... Uh, and as long as we get acceleration, like we're really good. Um, that's why I've been kind of thinking about putting some chrome moxes, like maybe one or two, because that acceleration helps. Although it's card disadvantage, whereas mox diamond actually isn't really because, you know, loam and, and crucible get the job done, get, get the land back. Um, and I'm running like 27 lands now. Um, yeah, which is pretty good. Hmm, a bit, a bit slow. Um, has an abrupt decay, which is a great solution to anything that they play. Has a Trinisphere, which is intriguing. <laughs> uh, and has Toxic Deluge to sweep. Okay, I, I'll keep it, but this isn't like anything clear cut. Um, okay, that helps us a bit. Um, so what I'm going to do is fetch at the end of their turn, so they might, yeah, if they have to play Stifle, they have to use the mana during their turn, or not. Well, yeah, let's see what they play. They're probably going to drop, like, Dreadhorde or something. I mean, Young Pyre, okay. I'm just going to fetch. I have to use Erupt Decay against that. Uh, there's no... Uh, so I'm getting that. I'm getting another swamp and another for forest. No, uh, or do I get forest here? God, this is really small. I can't really like if I get forest here, then I'm going to get um, swamp and swamp. But if and I'll just go for swamp here and get by you. Okay, let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I've got part of the combo. I've got a smallpox also, which will be useful. Not useful against young Pyra. This is the reason that this has to be answered immediately because smallpox becomes terrible against any single token. 
really, really bad. Uh, okay, that's a good follow-up for next turn. Um, but yeah, for this turn we can go Bayou, which is pretty good, I feel. And uh, just hit them with that. And um, we've taken care of their young Pyra, which is something we really have to take care of. Okay, and they're pondering. Right, that's not bad, because we're going to hem them next turn playing around days. And then we can smallpox toxic or go for the combo or transfer. So, um, are we ahead? Not yet, I would say. We don't have like that 100% lock piece that I would want to see. Um, but let's see. And another young player. Okay. We do have a solution to this, which is good. We have the Toxic Dealers already in hand, and we can look to kind of like swarm their hand and then just answer their whatever it is. Yeah, they have. So they got we got rid of Dreadhorde. They have Pyro. We're going to do next turn maybe him. Um, okay. Now this is going to get dangerous, really dangerous, actually. Um, we do have a sweeper, though, but we have to make sure we resolve the sweeper, uh, which is going to be relatively difficult. Okay. Uh, so we definitely have to make sure that... Uh, so they drew three cards, but they can't actually shuffle, right? Hmm. Yeah, I think I should go this and then go Well, the question is, do I do I drop Trinisphere and then hope that they cast something in order for me to go toxic deluge and a hundred percent cut them out the turn after. Do I have enough time? Because this is four damage, takes me to twelve. Another five damage, let's say, takes me to seven. And then probably maybe death based on a lightning bolt or something. I feel I should go for this. Um, be a bit more aggressive. Try to get rid of their counter magic. And then hopefully draw land to play around days. Okay. They're going to hide their counter magic, which is pretty bad for us. Um, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, this isn't ideal uh, under any circumstances. So... We have to make sure that we resolve this uh, Trinisphere. A good way to make sure of that would be uh, maybe to go for that smallpox and get rid of their uh, land. Okay, they're really going for that. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to bring in our Golgari charms next next game, which will be pretty good for us, I feel. Um, if there's a next game, because this Toxic Deluge is resolving. So they only have one. So we need... We definitely need a land to play around days. Because if we run into days, it would just be a tragedy. Yeah, I want, I want to see a land now. Oh, that, that was a slap in the face. So... Do we play in today's is the question. We haven't seen a days. They've drawn a load of cards. Um, uh, this is really, really quite an annoying predicament that we find ourselves in. Um, yeah, th this is a bit annoying. Um, I was hoping that we would be able to create some more mana, yeah. Uh, because, yeah, if we... Yeah, they only have one card in hand, so it wouldn't have been a difficult one. What happens next turn, though? Let's see. What, what would we do? We would take five, six, seven damage, and with a lightning bolt, we're dead. Hmm. So if they have a lightning bolt, which is not unlikely, they are that deck, then we've lost again. 
Uh, I'm going to get a bayou just so I can make sure I can cast all my things. So let's see. Um, hmm. We could get a land here, uh, a Thespian Sage specifically, or maybe a Vampire Hex Mage and go for that. But we, we lose to Lightning Bolt. So I think we're going to play in today's here. And, uh, you know, if they have it, we lose. Be because then they're, they're going to be up one more card. We're going to be facing immense pressure. They're going to draw a card and then draw, dig even deeper. And they could find uh, a lightning bolt. Not unreasonable. They probably run six of them. Or they're going to find uh, some form of counter magic. Uh, yeah, so I, th I think we played here. Uh, maybe the logic isn't 100% sound. But um, yeah, we might lose. That's okay. Uh, but it, this gives us a chance, I believe, because this takes care of everything that we're, we're facing. Um, yeah, if it's a daze, it's a daze. And uh, we... Well, we lose. <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> Um, yeah. Ah, oh, they, they, they paused for quite a bit of time, I feel. <laughs> there, I was like, oh, they, I thought they were, like, ranting or something. Yeah, okay. All right, I mean, yeah, we, we thought about it. I don't think I could have played around anything, really. It was just draw, land, there, or bust, pretty much. Um... So yeah, it was a bit uh, unfortunate. Uh, well, not really unfortunate. It, it was what it was. Um, so I think we're bringing in the Golgari charms just because we got really destroyed there. They deal with Young Pyro. They deal with Delver, Unflipped Delver. And um, deal with enchantments, which are completely irrelevant. Um, I feel that... Hmm. What do we remove? What two cards are the worst? Probably Trinisphere is a bit slow. It is really good. It is really good. It's a bit slow, but it is really good. <laughs> so I'm second guessing myself right now. Um, Living Wish is definitely slow. It's good though, <laughs> like with everything. So I think I'm just going to go for that just to try to speed up the deck a bit. I'm going to submit now. And I think that's good enough. And will I go on the play? I think I will go on the play actually. Um, and uh, yeah. I think I'm going to try to resolve a chalice on one and then abrupt decay him or something like that. Okay. I would love to have a mock diamond here, but I do not. So that's okay. Uh, I have part of the combo. So yeah, let's see. Let's see how this one goes. Um, hmm. Yeah, could I have played that one better? I mean, not towards the end. I think like I had the like kind of unfor series of unfortunate choices there. I couldn't really get out of there, and drawing another dark depths was obviously not the ideal draw. Um, but yeah, um, I think it went as as good as it could have gone. Um, okay. All right, they're not playing anything. Um, oh, we drew a loam, which is probably pretty good for us. Um, uh, should we play around days, like in this whole situation, or should we? Yeah, the question is here, uh, should I get a Bayou and whisk a Wasteland? I think I should, um, and then just play my Chalice on one and force them to use their counter magic if they have it. If they use a Daze, I'm, I'm actually okay with that. Um, because they actually set themselves back a turn. I have another chalice, so that's one of the reasons I'm okay for that. <laughs> with that, by the way. Uh, no, I'm not going to pay for days. And that's okay. Now, if they were to actually uh, wasteland me now, that would probably not be ideal, but they don't know my situation with land, so... Okay. Okay, Delver. So now if it's as if I am I am ahead, really. 
which is kind of interesting. Uh, uh, I mean, they can force of negation this, right? Um, uh, they can't force of negation the loam, but um, I, I think I'm just going to go for another one of these, play it slowly. I can, I've got my man up, I can loam next turn, uh, get back part of my combo. I've cut them off from a lot of things. I have the solution to Young Pyro in my hand, uh, because they can cast a bunch of things into Young Pyro and still get their value. No flip. Um... Young Pyre, okay. So they're kind of leaning heavily on that. Um, that's okay. Um, a Golgari Charm would be pretty nice here, I have to say. Uh, but it's an Abrupt Decay, which is also fine. So I think I'm going for that. Um, yeah, they can counter it, but no, they chose not to. I'm just going to go for another Bayou and just make sure that I've got uh, Young Pyro answered, because that is the thing that I'm the most afraid of right now. Um, yeah, they, yeah, they don't have one drops online, obviously, but still... Um, yeah, a braid. Oh, that works. <laughs> that works for them. So now they do have one drops online. Um, still, it, a braid is an instance, so they can do that end of turn. That doesn't do anything, I feel. Uh, no, I'm not going to loan. Uh, I'm going to play my Dark Depths. I'm going to hit them with that, which will force them, I think, to cast their uh, a braid because they don't want to lose it, right? That seems logical for me. I think that's what I would do. Yeah, they want to cast it on the chalice. Yeah, okay. Then they'll lose two cards. Uh, which is Narset, and then we will just take care of that. And then, you know, hopefully we find the combo. We're going to start loaming uh, from next turn. Um, we can force the combo through with our loam and with our crucible, really. So, um, yeah, let's see. Uh, yeah, I think I want to do that. Okay. So... We found the combo. And we're just going to go for Wasteland there, Wasteland, and then get started, right? Is that the right thing? Mm, probably not, no. It's Thespian Stage and then Wasteland there, their Wasteland, yeah. Um, I'll also cast this <laughs> since we're here. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Why not? This makes it easier. I don't have to loam again. Uh, yeah, they daze that. Uh, okay. Still, I feel we have the upper hand here because they're relying on that one wasteland, right? We're going to wasteland that next turn. Um, uh, no, we're not doing that. Oh, Liliana is pretty good. Uh, actually, it's really good. Um, and then we just start discarding cards. Yeah, I could have gone for the combo, whatever. It, it's Like, right now, I think it doesn't really uh, matter that much to me, actually, the combo. Uh, because I, I can lock out with Liliana... And I'm pretty happy where I am. Uh, Dread Horde, that doesn't really do anything because, again, we can kill them. Um, uh, 
Uh, do I loam? Hmm. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to go for full lockdown. Uh, I don't need to do anything else. Uh, I've got my loams. I've got my... I've got everything I need. I'm just going to play it extremely safe in case they got a brazen bar or something ridiculous in their hand. And they've lost it. Okay. Yeah, it's better to play, like, really steady when I'm drawing, like, these good cards. There's no point in going for the combo too quickly. But it's... It feels really nice to actually get the combo so often, actually. That really feels cool. Um, okay. Um, yeah, I've played three matches. We're 2-1. We're we beat uh, pretty much Blue Red Delver twice. And lost to Doomsday quite uh, quite convincingly. Yeah, really. Um, I think Doomsday is one of those decks that's going to pose a... It's kind of like um, show and tell. It's going to pose a problem that it, it has one drops. Chalice is going to be decent-ish against it, but it's not going to be actually good because they can just drop their lands, go for the combo without needing to do anything else, and they also have their own discard. Uh, also, their combo, like their stack, is Trinisphere proof because of the... Um, cyclers so i feel it's going to be one of those matchups where i'm not going to really be that good ever uh based on this like if i wanted to really like hit that matchup well i would probably look to put some one mana discard like like thoughtseize and or duress of my own or inquisition of Coslick or you know something like that uh along those lines i think those would be pretty good to help with that matchup but overall I uh, played three matches. I'm going to play the other two tomorrow. Uh, yeah, the deck did what it's supposed to do. It it beat Delver, <laughs> hurrah! And it lost a combo. Boo! We tried to <laughs> we tried to make that a bit better. I think we'll have better luck against graveyard based combo in the future. All right, uh, that's all for today. See you next time.